extend the side of the hexagon into a triangle will get formed automatically. Okay. These are regular triangles. The side length of the triangle is A. Okay. And current is flowing like this. So a star sort of structure is formed. Current is I. You have to find the magnitude at the center. Okay. It is symmetrical or not? Magnitude due to these two into 6. And the magnitude due to this side will be equal to magnitude due to that side. So you just find magnitude due to one line segment and multiply with 12. That will be the answer. Drop a perpendicular, find out theta 1 and theta 2 and then use the formula. When you drop a perpendicular, you extend the line. Suppose I take this line. So I take a perpendicular distance like this. This is my perpendicular distance? Yes or no? Yes. How much is that? Root 3 by 2. How to find that? So if you make a triangle, like this? So this is 90 degree. How much is that angle? This is 60 degrees. This distance is how much? A by 2. So that distance is? A by 2 into tan of 60, which is A root 3 by 2. Good. So we have got the value of Z, which is A root 3 by 2. Alright. Now theta 1 and theta 2 is what? This is theta 1? Yeah. 30 degree. 30 degree. And theta 2 is this, which is? Right? Two points have to join this point. This theta 1 which is 30 and this one is 60. You can check that. Okay? So theta 1 is 30 degree, theta 2 is 60 degree. So when you substitute the values, you get mu naught i by 4 pi z which is a root 3 by 2. Now it is to be minus here. They are at the same sign. So sine of 30 which is 1 by 2 minus sine of 60 root 3 by 2. This into 12. That's all. This is the answer. Okay. So if you are a little confused when to use plus or when to use minus, you can see that you know over here if theta 1 becomes equal to theta 2, the y disappears. The magnitude should be 0. So that is why minus should be there. If angles are at the same side and these two angles are same, it means the length of the wire is 0. So that is why it should be minus in between if angles are at the same side. Do you think this is difficult? It is not difficult. It is just like it is in your mind that okay, find something which is weird looking so it could be difficult not that. But when you look at the solution, just one step away from it. This is a fine marker in J1 2017. Okay, now tell me. Tell me, suppose you have an infinite wire, okay? Stop talking. You have a suppose infinite wire like this. How much will be the magnitude field at this point which is at a distance z? It is an infinite wire. So magnitude field at a distance z from the wire will be what? So you mean mu naught i by 2 pi z. Theta 1 and theta 2 values will be what? 90, 90. 90, 90. Right? Because if you increase the length, theta value will increase till it becomes 90 degree. A also it will increase till it becomes 90 degree. So both sides will infinity, theta 1 and theta 2 are 90. So for infinite wire, magnetic field is mu naught i by 2 pi z. So this, this value is also something very important in solving problems. So for circle, pi doesn't come in a denominator. It is just mu naught i by 2 r. For infinite wire, it is mu naught i by 2 pi z. Okay, so remember these expressions. Okay, let me take up uh, a few more numericals. <coughs> Suppose it is x, y, and z. Draw this. This came in 1996, J. See, this part of this, all are quarter circle by the way. This is the quarter circle. This quarter circle is in XZ plane. This quarter circle is in YZ plane. This quarter circle is in 
this entire, this is not a circle by the way, it is like this. Okay? Quarter circle here, quarter circle there, quarter circle there, in a different plane. Find out the magnetic field at the center. The radius is R. The three sets of That's wrong because magnetic field is a vector. You can't add them like numbers. You have to add them like scalars. Sorry. The vectors. Okay, now tell me what is the direction of magnetic field to this quarter circle? Inside 
say into the board will be u not i by 2 pi z, which is d1 plus d2. Okay, magnetic field on the board will be what? Which is this way. How much? May not I by? May not I by? Uh, 4R. 4R. May not I by 2R is the full circle. So, half circle is mu not I by 4R. Ajah, this Z is R by the way. Z is R. Isn't it? Perfect distance which is R only. So, total magnetic field will be what? Under root of B in square plus B on square. Because into the magnetic field is perpendicular to whatever is on the board. Okay. So you have to add the like vectors. So you will get mu naught i by 2 r root over 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 5 square. So this is total magnetic field. Okay. So like this there are several questions, there is no end to the number of questions